So let's take a look at adding content in this video onto your Myriad system. And uh, there are three ways, recording in real time, importing from a uh, WAV file or an MP3 file that you've already got, or ripping a CD in. And so let's take a look first of all at recording. So to record, you can do it in two different ways. You can just go down to this record down here, the, the recorder, and just click on the record button and that will just start recording in the first available cart within your personal area. If you haven't set up a personal area, uh, your personal area will start from one and you can see here that the uh, next space was cart number 21 that didn't have anything in there. And so that's recording down at the uh, bottom. You can see the recording level going in and uh, the counter counting up and that's the time left that you've got to record. When you're happy with your recording, you can click on the record button once again and it asks you whether or not you would like to save the audio that you've recorded uh, and you can just choose yes or no. So we'll just choose yes and then uh, it's uh, gone in there. New audio recorded by the user P squared because that's who we logged in as up here and this is our Studio One machine. So that's just clicking on the record button down at the top or you can find an empty cart. So say we wanted to record into cart number 31. You can find an empty cart, left click on it to highlight it with the red box around it, then right click and then go down to this option here, record into this cart. And uh, then that will start off the recording again down in the bottom right hand corner. You can see the cart number it's recording into. And again, we click on that. If we don't want that, if we've uh, made a bit of a, a muff up of uh, that, then we can just click on no. And uh, then it's gone away again and you're ready to right click and do record into this cart once again. So that is just recording in. So that will just take your either your microphone or whatever you've got going through your mixer desk on your record bus of your mixer desk. So that is recording straight in. Now let's take a look at importing some audio items. So we've got this folder here um, on my desktop. So let's just minimize down Myriad. I've got this stock music folder here because for the uh, for the benefits of the tutorial, uh, we can't actually play any copyrighted music. Um, and so we've got some stock music here and these are just uh, MP3 files that I've got. So if we uh, just expand that all out, size that to fit, you can see here I've got some uh, MP3 files down at the bottom here and uh, they're in a variety of different formats. So what I could do is I could just uh, grab this one here. Uh, I'll grab this one, which has uh, already got a title and already got an artist. So I left click and drag this one, go back down to my task window and bring back Myriad. And then I can just find an empty cart, let go, and uh, then it imports it in straight away. And it's taken in those details on the MP3 tags. So that's taken in my title and the artist correctly. So that's way, one way of importing. And you could do that with uh, multiple files and drag them on and then it'll just fill in the gaps that you have on the audio wall. So that's just the drag and drop method, very useful. Another way of getting some audio in is right clicking again on, some empty, uh, on an empty card, go into import audio and uh, you've got a variety of different ways here. You've got the import wizard, that will take you three things, rip one or more CD tracks uh, or import a single audio or transport file. So let's just uh, head through those in order, shall we? The import wizard, uh, this will uh, sort of basically talk you through how to uh, import some music. So uh, read through that and uh, we want to import some audio files. We'll rip audio tracks from CD. That's the same as choosing that from that method. We won't download from an online store. So we go to import audio files and here it's saying either select the single file or select a folder. And so we're going to we're going to select a single file. And uh, what we're going to do here, I've hold, held down the shift key to highlight these three tracks and we're going to click on open here. Uh, these haven't got any tags in the MP3 um, file name. So what it's done is it's taken the file name and it's used these embedded information down here, we can uh, say to it to do different things. So you can see here, it's uh, taking line one and then it's using these separators in the audio file to uh, to decide how to title it. So you've got some options here. So if you titled it, say, um, f hello, space, hyphen, space, Lionel Richie, um, then you would do line one, 
and line two and have that as a separator then it would pop hello in the title and Lionel Richie as the artist so actually we're just going to do don't interpret this file name you've got the option to delete the file after it's successfully been imported you can set the content as music and then down here you've got your categories so you can choose your categories here so we'll just say that it's a image track so I've selected that I uh, just want actually one of these files just by uh, clicking over here. So we're just going to take that one. Um, so the, let's just go through the window here. That was the single. That was for importing all of the files within a folder. That one's to remove the selected files. So we can uh, highlight that one and uh, click on remove and remove that one. That one allows you to highlight the items on a specific basis on various criteria. You can do a select all. Uh, that uh, stops it all <laughs> stops stops the searching anyway so you can just click on stop there that opens a pre-save list and that saves the list to a file now we've done all of that set the music set the category skip remaining questions but we'll just uh, play it on it's asking us where we would like to put that piece of audio and uh, say and automatically assign each file a cart number in sequence starting from cart 28 it's saying 28 because that's the one that we highlighted down here in red you can use the number in the file name if you like to and also the number stored in the cut id field as the cart number so if you're pulling over some files from another system that uses cut ids if cart already exists overwrite it we'll leave that one off you also have the ability to add or subtract a number from the cart number so uh, this way if we leave this off and we were importing more than one file it would jump over any existing files and just fill in the gaps so we'll just click on next convert the audio to match the audio walls format and you can also normalize it here after it's imported peak normalized to 63 percent which is the default you have some other options down here automatically set the extra on the new audio using the threshold set in global audio wall settings so uh, myriad version 4 now has the ability to automatically add an extra point based on the loudness of the file you can also automatically trim the silence from the start of the audio too and crop any audio if there's trim points in there so what we'll do is we'll actually uh, stick those two on so we'll have it stick an extra one and we'll trim the silence off the front of the file gives you an overview of what it's going to do and then you just click on next and uh, you say do you want to and then it uh, goes in holds in that file and the overall progress fills out when you've finished you end up with that and uh, that's finished off there and then we've got our audio file here that's uh, done by ripping we can go in and edit it later on which we'll show you in the next chapter here and uh, then let's move on to CD ripping. This is going to be a music track. And uh, so we can jump to music by clicking on the jump at the top here. And uh, we can right click and jump to next empty cart. So that's a right click and then a jump to next empty cart. We can uh, right click on there, import audio and rip one or more CD tracks. We're going to select here. We've uh, stuck a CD in the drawer. And uh, if you're connected to the internet, if your Myriad system is connected to the internet, it will query the database and bring back the title and artist information for the track. Um, I'm not connected to the internet here, so it's not being able to find the titles. If it has no luck first time, you can click on get titles. So we're gonna actually uh, import a couple of these tracks into the database and you've got a couple of options down at the bottom here uh, you can force the title you can force the artist so uh, this is uh, believe it or not a Nora Jones CD so I'm going to uh, click in there for artists and I can type in Nora Jones and then that way that will stick in the artist for me for all of those and uh, we're all okay we're music audio content is music and uh, pop is fine for the category at the moment we're not going to force the title because uh, i'm going to uh, stick the title in myself once we're happy with uh, what we need we go through and it's the familiar import uh, wizard interface here 3135 and uh, we're going to import all of that in there and we can set the extra and we'll also trim the silence off the top gives us an overview of what we want you can see we've it's put in the artist Nora Jones for us and then we click on next and uh, then we confirm and then it will go away and uh, rip in those uh, CD tracks for us and again we'll get the uh, current status 
uh, we get the current progress and the overall progress. So this is the current progress of the first track that it's uh, ripping in and uh, then it will move on to the second one and then when that overall progress bar is at 100% we will be there. So I just uh, sped that up a little bit for us. It's uh, finished importing and you can see here track one and track two and it's snuck her Nora Jones in there for us. So uh, in the next chapter, we'll deal with how we can uh, add in more information, add the extra and the intro and things like that. So that's in the next chapter called setting up a cart.